blood of Jesus. It would never lose his power. Hold the blood, hold the blood of Jesus. Hold the blood. Hallelujah. Been baptized. 
I've been in the world, hallelujah, and he blessed my soul, hallelujah, glory be to God. Fill me with the Holy Ghost on tonight, hallelujah, God. And I stand here before you, hallelujah, I baptized in Jesus' name, Holy Ghost fear, apostolic church, speaking tongue talking, hallelujah, glory be to God, on tonight, hallelujah. I just want to share with you on tonight, hallelujah. How it is, hallelujah, that many of us have persecuted the church. You think about Apostle Paul, hallelujah. How he persecuted the church, amen, hallelujah. How he killed people, hallelujah, glory be to God. I didn't kill anybody, hallelujah, glory be to God. But I wasn't in the truth, hallelujah, glory be to God. I thought I had everything all together, amen, hallelujah. And you couldn't have told me anything different, hallelujah, glory be to God. But when you're in the world, hallelujah, glory be to God. You do the things of the world, hallelujah, glory be to God. When you're in the world, hallelujah, glory be to God. You love the world, hallelujah, glory be to God. But the word of God tells us, hallelujah, glory be to God, that we're not to be of the world, hallelujah. We're not to be of the things of the world, hallelujah, glory be to God. As we get ready in this last, hallelujah, glory be to God. Last and evil day, hallelujah, glory be to God. Time is winding up, hallelujah, glory be to God. Everything is getting ready to go down, hallelujah, glory be to God, except the word of God, hallelujah, glory be to God. Everything the government, hallelujah, glory be to God, is getting ready to go down, hallelujah, glory be to God. Everything is going down, hallelujah, glory be to God. God's word will stand, hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh, when you're looking, hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh, God, for that. Oh God, hallelujah, glory be to God. When you're looking, hallelujah, glory be to God. For that welfare check in the mail, hallelujah, glory be to God. God will still be standing, hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh God, when that system shut down, hallelujah, glory be to God. God will still be standing, hallelujah, glory be to God. When you swipe that EBT card, glory be to God. And you can't get nothing off of it, hallelujah, glory be to God. Glory be to God. I don't know how many want to go up. Anybody want to go up on tonight? Hallelujah. Anybody want to go up and meet the Savior in the air? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The bride of Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because if you're left on this world for torment, hallelujah, you're going to be tormented night and day. Hallelujah. According to the word. Hallelujah. You're not going to have any peace in your life. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. But I want peace. Hallelujah. I want to be around that throne, Mother Shah. 24 7 giving him glory and giving him praise hallelujah i don't want to be left behind to be tormented hallelujah worms and gnashing of teeth hallelujah glory be to god burning forever hallelujah burning through eternity hallelujah glory be to god but i want to be able to give my daddy some glory hallelujah i want to be able to give him some praise hallelujah glory be to god i don't know about you on tonight hallelujah you may have your own god that you praise hallelujah you may have your own god that you worship hallelujah Hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh God, but I tell you on tonight, like I said earlier, everything, hallelujah, is going down except the word of God. Hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah, those gods, hallelujah, that you serve, hallelujah, they can't, hallelujah, give you salvation. Hallelujah. Those other gods that you serve, hallelujah, oh God, hallelujah, glory be to God. They can't give you eternity in the kingdom. Hallelujah, glory be to God. So I ask you and admonish you on tonight. Get Jesus in your life. Hallelujah. Try Jesus. Hallelujah. Try everything else. Hallelujah. Try Jesus on tonight, God. He's worthy. Hallelujah. If you don't know it, let me tell you. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Of all the praises. He is worthy of all the glory and of all the honor on tonight. Hallelujah. Come and get your soul. Hallelujah. Saved on tonight. Jesus saved through faith. Apostolic Church of God, the Bible way. Hallelujah. Right here on the corner of 22nd Street. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and get what God has for you. Hallelujah. It's a gift. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's not three persons. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's not a Father, Son, and a Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. He's only one. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Come and get to know the one true God on tonight. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pray my strength in the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. We thank and praise God, amen. Amen, that was wonderful, amen. You need to come and get what you got. If you believe today, if you're a believer and you haven't spoken tongues as the spirit gave up, you are living beneath your privilege. 
Come on, somebody. Amen. You are not actually complete. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're not complete. Amen. If you haven't spoken tongue as the Spirit gave others. Amen. If you're not complete. Amen. If God didn't give you, put those language in you and you spoke them out. You're not complete. Amen. So we see here today. Amen. God will give you that gift of the Holy Ghost. You can ask for it. So many people, they struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle. Amen. But praise God. Amen. If you believe and you got faith. Amen. And you just ask God. Keep on asking him every day. Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Oh, God, fill me to the max with your Holy Ghost. Amen. God will do it. If you have got the Holy Ghost and you had not felt it in a while, praise God, maybe it's time for you, amen, to ask God for a refilling. Amen. Amen. To, to, to refill you back up, praise God. Amen. So we see here today a lot of people say, well, yes, I believe. I was talking to some people the other day. You know, they, they, they say they believe. I say, well, you know, you don't have, have you received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues that the Spirit gave others like they did on Acts? In, uh, in Acts? Amen. Two. But they, they don't have an experience that. Amen. But now it is time for you people out there today, praise God. It's time for people, amen, to get ready. Amen. God, I, I see that God going to put a great point out of the, of the Holy Ghost, but we need people who going to believe and trust in Him, amen, and, and depend on Him, and knowing that He's going to fulfill His promise. The promise. Amen. So we, I'm letting you know today, friend, you can have the Holy Spirit. Alright? Look, I spoke in tongues. Amen. Amen. In my in my sleep and woke up speaking in tongues. Amen. Because, you know, when you're hungry and you want something so bad. Amen. When you are hungry and want something so bad. Amen. There's many people. A lot of people go around saying, I believe. I believe. You can go to the bar room and say, how many of y'all believe in Jesus? Amen. A lot of people hold up their hand. I believe in Jesus. You can go to the club room and, and, and ask a question. How many of y'all go to church and believe in Jesus? They say, yeah, I believe in Jesus. I'm just over here getting my thing on and all that kind of stuff. I say, look, you know, you need the Holy Ghost to lead and guide you to all truth. That's to all you people that say you believe you need to come here, amen, and ask God to fill you with the Holy Ghost, amen, and carry, wait, Amen. And let God bless your soul to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's what's wrong with the world today. Amen. A lot of people, they say they're believers, but hadn't received the Holy Spirit. Amen. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Ghost. You need it in you. And people don't understand it. Amen. People, you know, that's why these people, so-called people say they believe. They're doing all kinds of crazy things. Praise God. They going out saying they doing this, they doing that, doing all kinds of stuff. I said, how don't you believe in Jesus? Yeah, but you got you got no keeper. Come on now, huh? If you have no keeper, you don't have nothing to lead and guide you. You don't have the spirit of truth working in you. It is time for you to make up in your mind that you need the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit give utterance. And man, so many people are missing. You know what? Thousands of people have it, millions of people have it, but what about the other people that don't have that? All right? Haven't even experienced. Let me tell you something. I, I learned something. If so many people try to try try to to uh, look at it like they try, they try to put intellect into it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people don't have it, because Amen. They know they say they believe. They, they want to be intellectuals. They don't want to. They don't want to get on their knees and submit to Jesus Christ or, or the Lord and, and, and call on the name of Jesus. Amen. They think that they think that shouldn't be. It shouldn't happen that way. Amen. You know, I used to think that way too. I, before I got saved, I said, "Man, the people are crazy." I said, "I say they got to get down and do all that and be, be saved." Amen. But I'm letting you know today. Amen. You can't intellectualize. Amen. Amen. You can't. You can't. You can't go around thinking about logic. Oh, it's not. It's no. It make no sense to me. I know people that said that. It doesn't make no sense. Why I got to get down there and call on Jesus? 
Why I got to get out and get in this call on Jesus and, and try to speak in tongues? They, they, they missing out on their blessing. Amen. They missing out on their blessing because they trying to be intellects. Amen. Sadistic people. Amen. But I'm letting you know today, friend. Amen. God word stands true. God word stand true. God wants you to receive the Holy Ghost. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? All you people that say you believe and go and doing this and don't have the power to overcome things, it is time for you to receive the Holy Ghost just like they did on the, the day of Pentecost, just like they did in the Cornelius house. So I'm letting you know today, friend. Amen. Our sister preached the great word, praise God. And I'm letting you know today, amen, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, amen, though you say you're a believer, amen, you need to come and let God fill you with the Holy Ghost. Well, that's the question that Paul asked, amen, in the 19th chapter of Acts. Because he's seen people that believe, say believe and believe, but don't have the Holy Spirit, don't have the Holy Ghost. Don't have, don't have the, the evidence. He didn't see no evidence of it. Amen. He didn't see no operations of the Spirit. He didn't see something. He know that something was missing. So he asked a question. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? So have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Some, uh, some people don't believe. Amen. There is no chance for them. Amen. But if, when they believe and that light shines through in their mind, they can receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. And, and get down on their knees. Don't try to be intellectual about it. Don't try to be, be logical about it. Just get down and ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit. God will fill you with his Holy Ghost and give you power just like they did on the day of Pentecost. Give you power, amen, just like what they did to the Cornelius in Acts 10. Praise God. So I'm letting you know today, amen, some people will miss out because they hadn't tried it. Some people tell me, and say, but we don't have to do it that way. I say, they did it in the Bible and it's still true today. Praise God, it's, it's the real thing. The Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave us. Amen, amen. From the, Jesus said, out of the belly shall flow living wells of water. So I want you to know today, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, amen, you can come today and let us tarry with you that is called on the name of Jesus with you. Amen. And if you do, and, and to the people that hear my voice, get on your knees at night by your bed and, and remain and start calling on the name of Jesus. Get on your knees and start calling on the name of Jesus. If you want change in your life, you want the Holy Spirit coming to your life, do it. And that's what we said today. We thank and praise God for Mother Jeredini. I thought she knew that I wanted her to preach tonight. I'm sorry. I apologize to her, amen. I thank and praise God, because you know the other night, you know I was saying that we would let our ladies get out and I thought that the night would be good, praise God, amen. So we see here today, I was intending for that to happen last week, but <laughs> praise God, the last Sunday, uh, the last Friday, amen, but praise God. Uh, but we see today, amen, I thank and praise God. She brought a powerful word, I just thank and praise God for her today, amen. So let's, let us all stand, praise God. Amen, amen. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, amen, on the inside, amen, and the way you know that you, if you're a believer, like I said, if there are you people out there that say you believe, you need to get filled with the Holy Ghost. You need to ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit, amen, and then he give you power over your flesh and your mind and your body and let God be into you today. Praise God. We love you. Amen. We thank and praise God for you. Amen. Today, amen. Amen. We thank and praise God. Is there any need prayer right now? Is there any need prayer? Come here. This girl realized she need prayer. Isn't that something? Amen, amen, amen. To my heart. Come here. To my heart. Come here. To my 